Welcome to Twilio Tip Tuesday. Twilio tips are never longer than two minutes, so let's get started. Tip number 13 is Twilio Studio for SMS and voice. There's a lot to do in just two minutes this week, so let's jump right into the Twilio console. Inside of the dashboard, I'm going to use the search box up at the top to search for Studio and then click on Studio to head directly over to Twilio Studio. The search box is another little mini tip, I suppose. I'm going to create a new flow and name it Incoming SMS and Voice. There are a lot of templates for Twilio Studio, but we're going to use the start from scratch just to show off the simplicity of using Twilio Studio to handle incoming SMS and voice calls. This is the Twilio Studio canvas and onto it we can drop widgets. I'm going to grab the send message widget, which allows me to send a reply to an incoming message. Here I'll put thanks for sending me a text and hit save to complete this widget. Next, I will drag the incoming message handler over to our send message widget, connecting the two together. Now let's talk about incoming voice. Here we're going to use a say play widget to read some text out to the caller. I'll connect it to the incoming call trigger. I'll set the widget to say a message and say thanks for calling my demo. I'll set the language to English US and pick a voice from the voice list and hit save. And that's it for our studio flow. It handles both incoming messages and incoming voice calls. Now let's head over to our Twilio phone number and set this up. Under our call comes in, I'll switch webhook to studio flow, and then from the dropdown, pick the incoming SMS and voice flow that we just created. Next, down under messaging, I'll do the same. Pick studio flow, and then incoming SMS and voice, and hit save, and our number will be updated and handled by the Twilio studio flow that we just created.